Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Neo4j. Guys, in the previous video, I already have started with the create keyword. This is the next video in which I'll be extending that create keyword. So you must be wondering what I'm saying. Actually, in the previous video, I have just made use of create keyword to create a node. But this time around, I'll be making use of create keyword to create a relationship between nodes as well. So let's see how we can do it. I'll be just taking a simple example here in front of you. We all are aware that a create keyword uh, is a important keyword in the Neo4j, so it has to be written in the key create. Then we have the regular uh, round bracket. Here we have to specify first the variable, then the node label. It is person in my case. Then we have the curly brackets in which we have to specify the properties. The property, I'm just specifying it as name. Name is Romeo. Okay, name is Romeo. So we have a one person with the name Romeo. So this person Romeo loves Juliet. How we can specify that? The Romeo loves Juliet in which we have to establish our relationship called loves. Guys, you must be... Uh, you must have seen in the year model as well we are having the uh, we specified that relationship in the entities as well the same way we have specifying relationship here the relationship can be defined with the help of this square bracket first we have a uh, this colon then loves okay as this relationship need to be directed so we are putting it here the directed arrow okay it means Romeo Romeo loves Juliet this is done so loves is done then we have Juliet this is my variable then load node label person and the property is name and it is Juliet now it is completed actually guys so in this case we are having one person Romeo who is loving Juliet but guys, we all know that love need to be both way, right? So we have to now specify that Juliet also loves the uh, Romeo. How we can do it? Create Juliet. Then loves who? loves Romeo okay so this is the advantage of having these variables guys so with the help of variables we can e easily like uh, no, write the queries in the future so that's the reason we have done it in advance okay so we are done guys so in this case uh, I made use of two keywords create and uh, because the love has to be both way so I made use of this uh, loves twice here so once in the case of Romeo loves Juliet one in the case of Juliet loves Romeo so now we have to print the result as well. So we have return statement available. We have a return statement available. What we want to return? Romeo and Juliet. I want to see their relationship. I want to see their relationship. Okay, done. Let's see. Just press this uh, run button. Can you see guys? We have a both way communication or both way love. So love is in the air, right? So you can see Juliet loves Romeo, Romeo loves Juliet. This is the uh, power of new 4J that you can see the things in the in a good way or in a uh, the, the the presentation is really good in the case of new 4J. All right, I hope uh, you must have understood this example as well. So see you in next video, guys. Thank you.